Alright, hello guys. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Um, it's been a while, and it's early in the morning, so this is the only time I'll probably get to record for the next week or so. I have a very hectic schedule, um, but we're going to make do, right? That's what we do, right? Right, right, right. We always make do. And I, and I thank you guys very much for not being like, oh, get this out faster, get this out faster. I have had a couple of those uh, commenters in the past, and they're quite annoying, especially when they don't understand. When they're little kids at home being able to play video games every 24-7. But, you know, things things go on, right? You ain't gonna do shit. Try and catch me, motherfucker. Huh. Yeah. Fuck you, guy. That's how good I am. But yeah, I'm liking the setting of this so far because it's it's really reminding me a lot of uh, Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood, and uh, I'm liking it a lot. You know, the open country in Assassin's Creed 3 was cool. But it got very, very boring after a while. Very boring. So this is our next big objective. I'm gonna start the mission. Buenos dias, Mr. Duncan Walpole of England to see the governor. I believe he is expecting me. Si, sí, señor Walpole. Entre, por favor. But um, what was I gonna say? Ese es el hombre. Um, this playthrough is going to be much like, um, this playthrough is going to be like all the other Assassin's Creed playthroughs I've had. I'm just going to do the main storyline from point to finish, um, with very, with hopefully limited side quests and limited, like, you know, just side things, you know what I mean? Um, and then I'll probably just get to that off camera. Look at this sir. guy on the left here. Would I be correct in thinking you are done? Some I am indeed. Zoro looking motherfucker. Rogers, a pleasure. The same. I must say my wife has a terrible eye for description. I'm sorry. My wife. You met her some years ago at the Percy's Masquerade Ball. Ah. Quite. She called you devilishly handsome. Obviously, a lie to stoke my jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> Julianne, our guest of honor has arrived, Mr. Duncan Walpole. <sighs> Julianne Ducas. <laughs> I hope your conversion to our order is an honest one. I have no love for assassins, but even less for liars. I have not come to disappoint. Hmm. <laughs> Up for a bit of sport, Duncan? The old man isn't ready just yet. Oh, a little, a little side game here. Let's do this. You've got my two best pairs of matched pistols, Duncan. So handle them with care. If I had eight, I'd treat each as my own son. Pull off a few shots if you like. Get a feel for it. <laughs> I once fought beside a man who carried nine on his back. Oh, uh, so it's not going to be... Well, a boom in battle, but... Boom! 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 <laughs> Quite. Press F to shoot the highlighted target. I do kick, yes. I long for the day where one firearm carries four bullets and not the opposite. Uh, friend in England, you may like to uh, meet you. Um. James Puckle, working on something extraordinary. Magnifique. I talked about James Puckle. It took me a second to. He just shot me in the head. It took me a second to understand that. Talk to the host. All right. Here's a simple challenge. Try to strike every target before this hourglass empties. Remember, get every target within the oh. allotted time. Oh. 
Where's my time? Oh, I get 14 seconds. It takes half of that time to fucking reload. Not bad. <laughs> Obviously made to be simple, but... Um... Okay. Duncan. Where are your blades? I've never seen an assassin so ill-equipped. Ah. Damaged, sadly, beyond all repair. Uh-huh. What, we just so happen to have a spare? Chart. Where did you find all these? <laughs> I did not find them. I took them. These are souvenirs. <laughs> well, cool, we finally get our fucking wrist blades. Yeah! Two blades. That is the custom, me. Eh? Custom, aye. Duncan, will you indulge us with a demonstration of your techniques well uh, you must we put together a training course in anticipation of your arrival it would be a shame to leave here without seeing you in action yes of course well I mean if there is time I would gladly uh, show why you is time I capitalized here. you see the situation is well suited to your skills have a go a blade in a crowd is always the simplest nothing grandiose just quick and clean Okay, uh Show us another technique. Oh I will. Quite ingenious to use bales of hay for cover, don't you think? God, that's the spirit. Secrecy. The advantage of surprise cannot be overstated, isn't that so? Especially around a blind corner. Yes, yeah, quite. God blind me, that's a clever trick. Hmm. Yes, quite. Your aerial kills have a poetic beauty, despite their conspicuous quality. Would you show us? Yes. I shall show you because you ask so nicely. Oh, oh. What are you doing? What are you doing, Edward? Wait, 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 wait a minute. Hold on. How do you drop? Shit. E. What is this? Why is this shining? Oh, that's awesome. You can hide in those. Another. Oh, okay, maybe not. Hey, rooster. Is it also possible to deliver a killing blow at high speed? <gasps> ah, this is Sparta! Adieu, such a powerful strike. Fascinating. Let's continue, comrades. The assassins have trained you well, Duncan. You chose a perfect time to leave them behind. At great risk, I imagine. Betraying the assassins is never good for one's health. Well, neither is drinking liquor, but I am drawn to its dangers all the same. And what is your business here, sir? Are you an associate of the governor's, or a pending acquaintance like myself? Guns, blades, cannons, grenados... <laughs> Anything that may kill a man, I am happy to provide. A smuggler of sorts. And how is your wife these days, Captain Rogers? Is she, uh, here? In Havana? I trust she's well, but I wouldn't know. I've been in Madagascar some 14 months hunting pirates. It took some work to dislodge the criminals there, but we managed it. In future, I hope to use these same tactics throughout the West Indies. And how did you deal with that kind? Very simply. Most pirates are as ignorant as apes. I merely offered them a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless, but free men or be hanged by the neck until dead. Oh. I imagine Nassau would be your next target. Very astute, Duncan, indeed. 
Best of luck with that. So so far, he's not an actual assassin. He's not an actual Templar. He's just trying Randy to get money. This grand scheme Duncan to get the money. And something's probably gonna happen that has him enact revenge upon Templars or something like that. We were expected one week ago. Apologies, Governor. My ship was set upon by pirates. We were scuttled. I arrived only yesterday. Unfortunate. Forgive my caution, but were you able to salvage from these pirates the items you promised me? Uh, yes, sir. I was. Incredible. The assassins have more resources than I had imagined, but not nearly enough to deter us. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, Duncan. You are most welcome. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss. I don't know what this little thing is, but it's important. Convened at last, and in such continental company. England, France, Spain, citizens of sad and corrupted empires. But you are Templars now. The secret and true legislatures of the world. Please, hold out your hands. Mark and remember our purpose. To guide all wayward souls till they've reached a quiet road. To guide all wayward desire till impassioned hearts are cool. To guide all wayward minds to safe and sober thought. By the Father of Understanding's light, let our work now begin. Decades ago, the Council entrusted me with the task of locating in these West Indies a forgotten place oh, that right was once called the Observatory. See here. Look up on these images and commit them to memory. They tell a very old and important story. You don't know shit. For decades now, I have endeavored to locate this observatory. Ah, you don't know shit. A place rumored to contain a tool of incredible utility and power. It houses a kind of arbitrary sphere, if you like. A device that would grant us the power to locate and monitor every man and woman on Earth, whatever their location. Only imagine what it would mean to have such a power. With this device, there would be no secrets among men. No ah. lies, no trickery. Justice, pure justice. This is the observatory's promise, and we must take it for our own. Do we know its whereabouts? We will soon, for in our custody is the one man who does, a man named Roberts, once called a sage. It has been 45 years since anyone has seen a true sage. Can you be sure this one is authentic? We are authentic. The assassins will come for him. Indeed they will, but thanks to Duncan and the information he has delivered, the assassins won't be a problem for much longer. All will be made clear tomorrow, gentlemen, when you meet the sage for yourselves. Until then, let us drink. Well, they just stole it right under their nose. Wasn't... Let us find the observatory together, for with its power, kings will fall. Clergy will cower, and the hearts and minds of the world will be ours. Oh yeah, oh yeah, what? Oh, yeah, hundred percent memory sync, baby. What up? Rest well, Duncan. Tomorrow the treasure fleet arrives, and with it your reward. After which we will discuss further schemes. I look forward to it. Excelente. Meet me down at the docks first thing tomorrow morning. You got it. Governor Torres requests your presence at the docks near the Castillo. First thing tomorrow morning. Yeah, I know. He, he told me. You don't need to tell me again. Dick. Woo! Catch and loot the courier. This guy. Hey, asshole! Oh god damn this guy's fast. Oh, 
Come here. What? I just... Ugh. It was E. It wasn't... It wasn't... What you... What you... What? what? Uh... Shit. Okay, I'm going to, uh, it's going to be difficult to get used to this combat system because it's a lot different than the previous, uh, Assassin's Creed's. Oh, good catch, Duncan. Why do you call him Duncan? His name's Edward. So you should call him, you know, they say Duncan a lot, so you're going to get used to it. But whatever, I digress. But good. Okay, our objective is. Or we have another objective, so. Let's do it. Let's get there. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Got my own theme music, cause I'm awesome. Now that that was a cool um, parkour thing they introduced in, in the last Assassin's Creed um, was the um, like the running around poles, and I think they introduced that that jumping through like the V-shaped obstacles like I just did like ten seconds back. I think that was in Assassin's Creed Three as well. I know it was, but I don't know if it was first in Assassin's Creed Three. I think it was though. There is a, there is a treasure. Oh, I'm sitting right on top of it. <laughs> nice. Uh, and an emerald, is that what I just said? I just got an emerald. Sweet. Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Here we are. Good morning, Duncan. Just over here. Ah. Hello, Edward. I found a man to purchase my remaining sugar. Huh? Quite a coup, I must say. He just called you Edward. Oh, that's the merchant who sailed me here. Out of caution, I gave him a false name. Ah, well done. We'll catch up on it later. What a dunce. Duncan, this way. Here he is. A man both Templars and Assassins have sought for over a decade. I am told your surname is Roberts. Is this so? You recognize this, I think. According to old tales, the blood of a sage is required to enter the observatory. We have the key. Now we need only its location. Perhaps Mr. Roberts will be eager to provide it. Transfer him to my residence. Those handcuffs don't look very, uh, very sturdy or well built, you know? Yeah.